I love my hair. My hair. I really, really, really love my hair. I am a princess. <laughs> Hi, Curly Crowns. Welcome back to A Crown of Curls YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for all of my 25. Actually, no, we're at 65 now. Woohoo! Hello to all 65 of my subscribers. We're going to reach 100 subscribers. I know it. We're this close. So, thanks guys so much for supporting our channel. We greatly appreciate it. I'm going to be discussing how I do my twist outs because I am always getting questions on how I get my ringlets so perfect, how I do a twist out, the proper way to do a twist out, what products I use on my twist outs. And then the most important question that I always receive is how do you unravel your twist out? How do you do it so that it eliminates frizz and your curls are perfect? So I am actually going to be discussing that and going through the whole process of my shampooing, my conditioning, how I section the hair off, the whole nine. And what you see here is basically how I undo my twists. Well, this is the finished project. I always say project. I meant finished product of what the unraveled twist out looks like. These twists I still have in. This cute little style is just something that you kind of do in between. I did my twist out. I wasn't quite ready to undo my twist because the weather here in London sucks. And I was not about to be looking like a crazy mix of Angela Davis meets Patti LaBelle in a bad way. So I kept the twist in the back. They're still twisted as you can see. Did the two twists in the front to give a crinkle effect. I pinned these up, added a little bit of jewelry, and this is my look for this week. And then I'll undo the twist and have my cute big hair. So tune in, keep watching, and I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks. I'm back. So I just deep conditioned my hair with Vernon Francois's Whipped, which I absolutely loved. Here it is whipped deep my hair feels very very soft and I'm I sectioned my hair into fours one two three and four and I'm getting ready to do a twist out I will be using Vernon Francois leave-in conditioner yum and some pomonate oil treatment by Miel Organics for the oil and I'm trying out Vernon Francois styling cream for my twisting. And I'm going to seal everything and brush it through with Felicia Leatherwood's handy new brush. And of course, a little bit of water just in case. I do have Vernon Francois mist water, but I'm gonna save that for after I do the twist. So, I will just do a quick short tutorial on how I twist my hair. So, as you can see, nice and fresh doesn't have anything on it I'm just going to add a little bit of water just to make sure it's nice and moist then I will shake this bad boy the leave-in oops and I'm going to put it to spray not steam and just spray it into the hair in a downward motion like it says you can see Okay. Oh, my hair. Everything is in there nice and good. Finger through the hair. For any resistance or any knots. 
Once I have fingered through my hair without any resistance, I will use the oil cream to just highlight the hair and make sure it's nice and shiny and oily. And because the ends are always where it is most dry. The Leatherwood brush, which I will do now, just on the end. Detangles right. Then I add a little bit of cream, the styling cream from Vernon Francois. And I will massage it into the hair. This part I will just be as I brush the hair through and then I will add a little bit more cream or some butter twisting angle to make sure that the hair is ready to be brushed by the time you brush your hair it should have no resistance and no hair loss or breakage because that's the whole point of doing the finger detangling first. You should be able to get your fingers through resistance. tutorial is really about uh, the proper way to undo your twist out but for those who need to know how to do a twist out I've already done these twists here so I will just show you sorry for the water drippage this here so <music> twist and you basically want to twirl the twist in the opposite direction that you twisted the hair in then you're going to take your finger and pull it in through and unravel without separating and pulling because that's how you get frizz so the twist goes this way yes yeah okay when I undo my twist I do it the opposite way you will see that the twist is now undone here so I take my finger and as I go down, I unravel like this and separate. Then, and when you get to the end, you unravel and now you have two perfect curls. Just like so.
Now, if I was to undo the twist like this, this little beautiful spiral would be frizzy and fuzzy. So, I will do one more just to show you again. Zoom in a little close. Finger through. Unravel. So, here are the results from my twist out. I retwisted these two in the front only because those were the ones that were out before and they got quite frizzy throughout the week for my look that I wanted to achieve. So, all of the twists are now unraveled and untwist and I will wear my hair like this for probably a week and then I will separate these for a really big curly afro. But as you can see, the definition for each strand is there. I added a little bit of shine and moisture from Vernon Francois' uh, Nourishing Mist Spray, as well as his cream, which I love, and a little bit... Oh, so it appears that I forgot, or not really forgot, but missed a twist. You'll find that that happens a lot when you have a, a lot of hair. So, um... I'll use, use this opportunity to show you how I can do the twist. So, I just unravel like this, like I did before. And I can take my finger. This is how you do it with one hand when you're in a hurry. Using these hands to undo, unravel the twist, using this finger to pull through so that I'm not separating unnecessarily and creating frizz and then you just go like that and voila you have two perfect little which I love so this is my twist out how to perfect the perfect twist out curls upon curls definition boing 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 <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching. I uh, greatly appreciate it. I hope it was informative. Please do give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know how you enjoyed the video and also if, if there's any other hair tips or hair questions, anything revolving hair really, let me know. Leave a comment. Anything you want me to share or go over or make more videos of, I'm always open and here. That's what A Crown of Curls is all about. And always remember, self-love equals hair love. See you next time. Bye.